Might as well. No, burn it. Well, that one did it. Yeah, I don't know what that did. I didn't see it through Twitch. Okay, now I can talk to the other people on the message board. I'll just live in here. Let's talk about books. How's that any different? I don't know, I was just hoping I could. I go to blog. Oh, blog. Oh no, I think I have to use up a turn to blog. Mmm, okay. How? Out. Go shopping, call friends, or sleep. Oh, I guess not. How do I blog? Remember, as part of your things you schedule out for the week. Oh, okay. Um, call friends. And I will call Benito! You know he's busy. He's gonna turn you down. Pronto, what's up? <laughs> oh, wait, that's you. Not much, just wondering if you wanted to hang out today. I'm pretty busy, unless it's about to work, like I said last sure. time. No, just social, maybe some other time. So I can't even talk to him. Fine, then I'll call asshole. Hello. Hi, John. I was wondering if you wanted to go out somewhere today. <laughs> is this about... Is this a work outing? Uh, no. They don't have to pass. That's because you're gay and we all know it. Oh, uh, I mean, I hung up. Better luck next time. Fine, then, um, I can either sleep, which is you don't need to, or go shopping. Go shop and check out the other store. Yeah, I could call Adam and do something with him, right? He's always available. He's like the default. Who is this? You know who it is. Shoot, sounds. Hey! Well, I mean, it's the same as last time. Let's go to Cafe D. I'll be a room in a second. I'm here, let's go. What you go Yo, what you gonna order? A green tea latte. Haha, uh -huh, as usual. <laughs> Wanna split something to eat? I eat oh. the good part, you eat the bad part. <laughs> Again. I eat the turkey, you could have the sandwich. The pesto. <laughs> the pesto. Uh, a turkey and pesto sandwich, please? Whoa, sounds like a fancy sandwich. Mind if we share one? When do we not? Oh god. You're such a couple without being a couple. So how's school treating you? Oh, classes are kind of weird. They make me learn. <laughs> My brain hurts afterwards. Which classes are you taking? Um, computers, books, numbers. <laughs> That's seriously what you call them. It actually makes sense. I mean, with my math classes, I just called them math. <laughs> That's what they're about. Yes, you still. So. Oh, <laughs> and I'm taking a class called Physics of Music. It's actually super cool. I'm glad to see you excited about school for once. Yeah, well, I am actually going to use this stuff. So, your blog tutoring is... Oh, tutoring works. will make my grade go up faster. So apparently it's, it does. Let's okay, see, well, you better study then. Um, let's see. I can do that. You're doing fine. You, you don't need to be Study. an A student. You should Log. reset then. You should reset and always do tutoring on Mondays. So you have the buff all the time. Well, does... Because that's the only day you can do tutoring. That's true. Um... Go out to town. Exercise and... Block the after the photo shoot. And then... And then study. Today we'll be discussing character archetypes in medieval literature. Now come on, that's not Satan voice, man. No, that's, that's Professor... The most Satan. common type is the Knight Errant, a knight who would travel around doing chivalrous deeds. Just like John's show, I guess that's where the name came from. Oh god, I'm reading it in her voice when it's not even <laughs> talking. The Knight Errant was often accompanied by a lady who would lead him to his next adventure. Mm -mm. He wasn't usually accompanied by a lady. He'd go back to the lady and she'd be like, Oh, you need really shit. And then he'd go off on it again. Anyway. The lady rarely acted as a romantic partner and she would provide him with the knowledge and tools to defeat his opponents. A girl raises her hand and Professor Cavalt nods at her. You know, having the voices makes it much more soothing and makes me want to nap. <laughs> no sleep. If the lady had everything necessary to defeat the bad guys, how come she didn't just do it herself? 
Maybe she was afraid she'd break a nail. That sounds like one of the places. The guy sitting in the back row whispers just loud enough for the girl to hear. Professor Cavalt ignores him. An excellent question, and a perfect segue into your assignment. You'll be writing an essay on the character archetype of your choice, along with an analysis of how it represented medieval culture and how those types are still used in today's media and culture. Yay, more homework. 16 pages. Due next week. Single space, double, double space, tw size 20 font. <laughs> Six inch borders. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you call it? That one font that's like... Uh... Ariel? No, but Ariel's a good choice. Yeah, it it's a... the one that's a courier new, <laughs> the one that's real big. College tips! 16 pages? That's ridiculous! The guy in the back row sputters indignantly. Professor Cabalt gives him a withering glance, Miss Bell. I know. Hardly seems like enough to cover everything that needs to be said, doesn't it? Do your best to be concise. Any questions for today? Could you look over my homework answers for me? I haven't even done homework. Mm, looks fine to me. You're on the right track. I don't know, I'm just guessing myself. Hmm. My GPA didn't go up. What was that I noticed? Um, let's see. Let's go to the mall and buy some shit. It's quite an, it's a quiet enough day. I think I'll head out to the mall. I wonder if Adam wants to come with me. Go to the mall alone. I don't want her to end up with Adam. Why? I you probably should have bothered Adam you're... right now. Hopefully he's busy doing homework. It's just he seems like the default option, like you actually have to yeah. avoid him to not get him as a romance. Ha, huh, yeah, right. Thankfully, there aren't many people at the mall today. I take my time wandering from one shop to the next. As I stop outside the divide, I see a familiar face. Oh, you're that girl, I... Uh... Definitely not the right voice. She definitely a good old boy! <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I guess, instead of Cyan, whatever. And you're Nicole, right? Wow, you remember me? I'm good with names, especially bitch names. Lucky you, I'm horrible with names. Actually, the only Nicole I know is bitch too, so... She frowns and fiddles with a package in her hands. And faces, now that I think about it. But you remembered me? Maddie was pretty upset about you, so of course I remember. <laughs> Nicole clutches the package closer to her chest. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I didn't make a bad impression, did I? No, he said he met you under poor circumstances, but he's too embarrassed to say what happened. She sighs and turns her gaze to the tiled floor. I really wish he'd tell me. Should I let her know? Um, if you lie, then later on she's gonna find out. It's gonna be a big thing. So just tell him the truth. We met the other day when he was filming a commercial. He, uh, I paused, trying to find a way to explain what happened without making it sound bad. He kind of grabbed me and held me, and it was kind of awkward. Maddie did that? <laughs> She's jealous! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he, I think he was just panicked. There were a bunch of girls trying to chase him down. I'm a little sparse on the details. Nicole nods understandingly. I remember that. Security had to clear out several fans and paparazzi from the building. No wonder he was so flustered. Oh, did the shoot turn out okay? No worries. He's always professional in front of the camera. She giggles. And I helped calm him down a bit, too. <laughs> that makes it sound like she gave him a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, for, for Maddie, I think it would be more like a, a, a kind of a cat petting kind of thing. There, there, little boy, there, there. Or just a hug. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. We should actually... Uh, I've never had anything pumpkin spiced. I thought you were going to save that for our aunt. Are you sure? I'll try it. Why does it have two bolts on the front? It's her moose. Oh, it's moose. made in Canada. Remember I was telling you? Oh, oh, wow. Canada. Home of moose and maple. That's a pretty moose. shitty moose picture. Anyway, okay. Um, Why don't you get a, a cup? No, that's okay. We can always have it later. We'll take a break and then do it at that point. I don't think I'm going to ask for details on that one. See? 
blowjob. Every time. She hoists up the package in her arms. Anyway, I've got to get these clothes back to Maddie. Goodbye, Sean. Bye. I didn't really expect to see Nicole again. From the look of it, she wasn't expecting to see me either. Oh, well. She buys him his clothes. I might as well return to my shopping now. She said return of, so there's something that she borrowed of his, I guess. His she... underwear? His t-shirt? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, the underwear better. Maybe he's a real, like, sex machine, and he just sings differently to the rest of us. I might as well return to my shopping now. Where should I shop today? Clothing. You need new clothes. Show off your heritage with this matching set. Okay, why does it look like a Chinese, a Chinese style, Japanese style clothing when uh, they're born in Hawaii and lived in Hawaii? Um, let's look up this shop. Okay, it's a Welsh name. Blah blah blah. Pronounced blah. blah, blah. Yeah, is a Welsh feminine given name according equivalent to the English Jane, Scottish Sheena, or Irish. Whatever you know how shy Irish people spell the names. It's screwy. I say it's they're the all Bri they're all British people. Um, the famous ones. But th this one's a Welsh singer. Okay. Oh no, one Welsh mixed in with a bunch of English <laughs> and British people. Whatever. Um, pronounced. I wonder if they have the sound for this. Let's see. Blah blah blah. Oh never mind. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know why she has. I guess could they have flowers on. She has a on Welsh it? name, born in, uh, born and raised in Hawaii, with a Japanese heritage. Okay. Um, I think the flower thing is supposed to look kind of Hawaiian. You know, like those luau shirts. Oh, yes. I don't know what the bamboo leaf one. <laughs> I can't really bullshit that one. Lovely girl, girl. Oh, so if you want to up your cute or uh, classy separately. We'll do the overalls. See how expensive they are. Oh, I looked at them. They're like 30. Uh, 55. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Cute and cool. Yours right now are 14 all stats. Oh, I can buy any shoes. Be cute, cool, mm. or classy. That one comes with stockings. Well, no, I'm talking sense. about the striped ones. Those are just socks. Long socks are always cute with a short skirt. Um, let's buy this one. That's white and like blue. totally not Japanese. I guess she's just Japanese heritage. No, I know there's a lot of people in Hawaii who are of Japanese heritage. Mm -hmm. Don't know why they would have the name Sean though, especially spelled like an idiot. So because everyone knows Hawaii was a British colony. It's. it's it's just so heavily. I can't well. keep a straight phrase for that. Okay. Honestly, considering how much UK conquered shit, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point it was. Um, let's buy this one. It's 2020, 20, 20, but you can get bigger, uh, nope. more specialized. Oh yeah. What the hell? Then what's the point of? Anyway. Let's buy this one. And shoes. That comes with shoes. It comes with shoes. Mm -hmm. That's what the little things uh, are. Okay. Done. Oh, I should have bought some more. Yes, she looks so Hawaiian. When I see her, I just think Hawaii. I should have bought some more clothes. Spend some of that money. Or save it for my dead beat dad. I head out for another jog around the campus. Thankfully, the weather is still warm. As I near the library, I see someone familiar sitting on the bench. Oh, hey, you're that guy that runs freshman tutoring on Mondays. Um. Alvin, and you're Sean, right? Yeah, that's right. You remember me? Our last parting was fairly recent, and I do try to remember the names of all my students. He's too matter of fact. What are you reading? Alvin looks down at the books in his hands. That sounds like the kind of guy that kind of the way he would be. Um, it's a book of recreational math. <laughs> he sounds like he got caught with a porno. But the thing is, I can see why a guy would be embarrassed reading a book about recreational math. 
Fun <laughs> with numbers! Ooh, look at the shape of that eight. No. Ooh, I want to divide that eight so hard. Not That's... like that, but because it's his spare time and he used to study. He laughs and looks at the ground. I guess, I guess I'm kind of a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Well, at least you're not and on the laptop like what are you Warcraft. Up to? Hey. Just exercising, gotta stay healthy. You never did that outside the library at your college, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping all the senses sharp. That's the idea. I won't keep you. See you around. Fare thee well. Okay. That is nerd speak. Nerd! <laughs> nerd! And I thou sell. I enter the studio and immediately begin setting up my station. Ready for another round with the Midnight Clan? Well, now that I know they're part of the Midnight Line, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I didn't mean to worry you. Will it make you feel better if I tell you that's not their real name? No shit, Sherlock. But also, just because somebody is the face of a makeup No, line... her name is Christelle Blowjob <laughs> Shawang. <laughs> I like the idea she's gone through her whole life thinking that all these porn stars were born with those names. Yeah. And she's like, well, I'm definitely not naming my chastity Blowjob. My daughter is not getting that name. Uh-uh. No, Anyway, um, just because she's a model for the makeup company doesn't mean she has anything to do with the business. Now, I'm sure they will for plot convenience, but it's just kind of, you know, oh, a like retarded a, obsession. This is like cork. I thought it was a screw top. Oh, yeah, he makes the cork noise. Let's get some more. <laughs> now blow across it. <gasps> See? I can't do it. The liquor makes it quicker. My um, Tommy juice is hitting my brain. Has been for a while though. Well, you can always refill your Tommy juice. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, I have a lot of Tommy juice. See, just a sec, camera. See, the camera's not on again. Really. Computer. The camera's not on. Computer. Computer. See. Computer. Computer. Nah, 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 nah. Sorry, it's just, you could see through the, um, what's that called when there's those little dots that separate? And that's the name for that on the back of the thing. So I could see the screen through the bottle of liquor. She's using the bottle of liquor like a visor right now. <laughs> like it's going to reveal some magical properties when she looks through it. It'd be one of those things, those, ma those beer goggles? See, no, those secret eye things that, you know, you get a cheap magazine and you put on glasses and it's like either red or green and then you see the secret message. Ah. But I guess that would be literal beer goggles. Okay, let's put it back. And get your back. pills. Don't forget your pills. Not my pills. Somebody else. Anyway, um, that's not the real name, no shit. Well, I always assumed Midnight was some sort of stage name, although talking about it makes me curious. Good, she's not an idiot. Dale coughs and leads in. <clears throat> yeah, Partridge. <laughs> the Partridge family. <laughs> what? Madeline Partridge and her son, Matthew Partridge. But don't say it to their faces. Why not? Big industry secret? And nothing a little bit of time online can't tell you. But stage names exist for a reason. And a pear tree. Whether it's to build a character, afford privacy, or just not conflict with someone else, it's always important. So, calling someone by their given name in a professional setting is rude. Oh, good to know. Makes sense, though. The door to the studio opens and a petite girl with golden hair enters. Let me guess, the only girl, petite girl, uh, hell, the only other mainish girl in the whole game? Good morning, Mr. Vincent. I trust everything is ready. <gasps> Surprise! It's Nicole. Well, she was nice last time. The former bitch. We'll see if she's the actual bitch. Ready as will ever be, Nicole. I guess she wasn't really a bitch. She was just overwhelmingly obnoxious. Okay. Nicole scans the room quickly and her eyes settle on me. Sean, what are you doing here? My job? I'm a makeup artist. Oh, I didn't know you were industry. 
That's not a problem, is it? No, 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 she's not industry. She's in the industry. She's not industry. That might be a way that people talk when they talk. Uh, 